all right guys welcome back to the channel and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and if you aren't i pray that your day gets better so um in the last episode and the first episode of am2r we uh quite frankly we pretty much <laughs> caught through like half of the game um there's way too much to list off but yeah we the last thing we did was um i think we got this right spin jump um I guess we're going to finish the game in this episode. I I don't I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. Um but yeah. I am in a Discord call by the way, but albeit I'm in here by myself as of right now just cuz it's like really early in the morning. Whoops, wrong button. Um but yeah, if anyone joins and starts talking then that's why, you know why. Ah. Uh. I'm still using the arcade stick, by the way. It's still the Mayflash arcade stick F500 V2. It's what it says on the, the thing, anyway. Um, honestly, I said this in the first episode, too, but not that bad, actually, to play play this game with. It feels pretty natural. I, I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't know. I think this might actually be my preferred way to play the game, to be honest. I mean, D-pad is cool, but it just doesn't feel right. And I never was a fan of the SNES controller. I have one that I can plug into my PC, but I'm just not a fan of that controller. Um, I don't know. Ooh. This game's atmosphere and music is just so good, man. It's crazy. I love these doors too. Look at dude, they're so detailed to just be used like maybe three, four times, you know? Nice. We're gonna need those, as you'll see here in a second. <clears throat> Unless. Oh, there we go. Huh. Could have swore there was like a, a gamma Metroid here. Maybe I'm forgetting things. Yeah, um, by the way, guys, if you didn't watch the first video. This is like maybe my fourth or fifth time playing this game. I, dude, I love this game. It is actually probably my favorite like Metroid to come out. And it's not even an official one, right? It's a fan game. It's a real shame about the, the cease and desist stuff though with Nintendo. Because honestly, this game is just absolutely incredible. Absolutely. Really sick game. This honestly though, this might this wouldn't be a game, or this would be a game that I wouldn't mind speed running in all honesty. I mean, speed runs are pretty cool. I really like them a lot. But the thing with it for me is, you know, that uh, season desist kind of killed this game from for the most part, just a standpoint in general. I mean. Sure, there's like a couple videos that blow up, mainly like the SAX videos mod or whatever. But you don't really see videos on AM2R anywhere. You know what I mean? Alright, um. I'm trying to think where we need to go. Was I supposed to go up over here? Is that what I was supposed to do? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> ah. Man, good thing I bring always bring water when I'm recording these videos, man. It, it really does help a lot. Okay, so I can't... That's power bombs, right? Yeah. There's nothing to the right there. Hmm. I wonder... Did I maybe miss one in the last episode that I'm just forgetting about? I'm not sure. I feel like we missed a beam or two also. Well, maybe not. We have spacer and wave right now. <clears throat> ah. Lord. It's crazy how many minutes you save um, with in-game time over real time. Because I have the in-game timer up in the top left. And the last video was like an hour 30 or something right and then game timer was like hour 10 like i saved 10 minutes from just like non-gameplay time alone you know that that's kind of wild to me oh now the law is gone okay oh. kind of wild to me though that, that that 
it, it, you say that much time, you just don't even know about it, though. Like, because it happens in so many different increments that you don't really add them up like that. Whoops. Wrong button. Okay. I like how this game reuses a lot of enemies from Fusion, too, because, I mean, all the enemies in Fusion are supposed to be based on the enemies on SR388, the Metro 2 planet, right? So it makes sense. What's this? Okay, we can't do that yet. Um, What is even down here? Oh, okay. Huh. Ah, here we go. I like the, the green, like... Fauna, I think is the word. Shit's cool. I've been thinking about doing, um... I, I don't know, I've said this for a while now, but I've been thinking about doing a Terraria series. I feel like that would be awesome to do. I don't know when I'm gonna do it, though. Probably when I get out of my burnout for survival games, because, shoo, seven days to die, man. It's not that game's fault. It's, um, my fault for playing it as much as I did. Uh, I, I severely, severely burnt myself on survival game playing that game as much as I did. Not even for the YouTube, but just, like, in my own time, too, just playing the shit out of that game, you know? I was grinding on that game. <laughs> uh, fun, fun ass game though. I might come back to it whenever they drop an update or something. We'll see. But for now, I'm taking a huge break from survival games, and that includes like Minecraft, Terraria, all of them too. Ah, I absolutely love, by the way, that these save stations refill your missiles and your health. That is so nice. Honestly, I... Whoa. The fuck? What is this? Oh, is this like a scan thing? That's pretty cool. I don't remember that being a thing. Okay. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, Minecraft Terraria too. Uh, I consider them survival games. I mean, you can c call them cr building games or whatever, but for me, the, the fun aspect of it for all survival games is the same thing you know survive and build like the best base you can build right i don't categorize each one as like a different thing they're all like a survival game to me because eventually you know at a certain point in all those games um there comes a point where as the game gets harder it gets easier it, it, that's honestly starting to become like one of my favorite things to say because it's like so true and so applicable for, applicable for so many games but like seven days to die, right? You start off with barely anything. You know, you might have a wooden club, whatever. The first seven days are a nightmare, especially day seven. But the later you get into it, you know, you eventually just have so much ammo and your base is so good that you can quite literally just AFK in your day seven base. Like that that's how it got for me on the, uh, I talked about in my seven days, playthrough but i had a separate world where me and my friends got to like day 100 and that was actually legitimately a problem and a cause of the burnout for me was it just got to a point where i was spending every week of that game just grinding for resources to make ammo and then i would get that ammo and hardly even spend it because the day seven base we had on that world was so good. It was like automated pretty much. We could AFK and survive the whole day. It was mainly just did we want the XP or not out of it. It's what, what it came down to. Which I, I mean I, I wanted it right. Uh, I ended up spending a lot of time. Just a lot of time getting ammo to spend it on that day seven. But <clears throat> It got to a point where I had to go out of my way to find stuff to, to do. Like, I got to the point where I was, like, replacing whole parts of my house with uh, concrete and cement bricks and shit. 
just because like what there wasn't really anything else for me to do in that world and i think that's what caused me to burn out on it it's just i had done pretty much everything there was to do i explored the entire map i found every trader i just did so much but yeah you'll have that okay i think i see where we need to go i want to mess around with this little uh mining machine whatever it is can i maybe no super missile doesn't work i think i need power bombs for that either that or it just opens up later i'm not sure which hmm I really want to get that, uh, I don't know if I talked about this. I know I talked about it with my friends, but, uh, that 8-bit do, uh, it's like a, it's an arcade stick, and it's modeled after the NES controller. Dude, it looks so cool, even if I don't ever use it, just, I want it just for, for how cool it looks, you know what I mean? It's, it's like, what, $90, I think they was, which honestly, for arcade sticks, is fairly cheap i'm not gonna lie arcade six are pretty premium stuff but i guess you have to be a certain kind of person to like them to begin with and i'm that certain kind of person i'm a huge fan of them i see the thing that got me into them was uh fighting games right just because controller playing controllers for fighting games I, I mean i was a controller gamer at first you know like i played a xbox and stuff all the way up to that point but fighting games controller just didn't click with me for whatever reason and i was like huh well it's either i'm really bad at the fighting game or i just i needed something else to play this game on and it, it was a combination of both i'm not gonna lie I, w I mean i was pretty shit at the game i'm sure if i had just stuck through it and played on controller i wouldn't be talking about this now um but i'm glad i made the switch because they're they're so much more comfortable to use so i'm, I'm like I, I learn by feel and you know on a controller if you're playing a fighting game I, I i'm talking about fighting games but this is like just this is going to lead to what i'm talking about but um for me you have one button or one finger for every button right and you and you're not using but your thumb to move around and it, there was a lot of times where I would just get confused. My muscle memory would get confused. But, you know, with an arcade stick, you have, like, eight buttons and you have four fingers. Or, you know, some of them even, like the hitbox, you can use your thumb. Um, and that makes a lot more sense to me, just having each finger be dedicated to a button. I mean, sure, it was hard at first because my pinky, you know, I'm not used to using my pinky that much. But you get used to it. But then later on i was like huh well i already have the thing i already paid like 80 bucks something for it i might as well try it in other games too and honestly i'm a huge fan bro like this game works surprisingly well with an arcade stick you know it's kind of shocking to be honest i mean i shouldn't be surprised because these this game in particular is modeled after the gba style control scheme right so no no real surprise there but uh i don't know it feels so natural to use you know i could really believe that there was a metroid game that was released on an arc like as an arcade cabinet one time you know maybe like zero mission or something which obviously i know didn't happen but um well i don't know i guess it's not completely out of the realm of possibility but it just feels so good. I'm definitely going to try it with like other games too, like especially like side by side, side to side games. I would love to try I me mean, like 3D games, but you know you kind of need to be able to look around too. Maybe I'll try Arcade Stick for the Terraria world, you know? Nah, that might that might be no no no, because you got to have a mouse too. Yeah, I'm, yeah, nah, that ain't gonna work. Ow yeah i didn't quite think that one through um you know you could get uh maybe minecraft to work with it you know run the prom style control scheme where like oh shit we're uh turning left moving the stick left turns you left 
and then up and down moves you forward left and right turns you up and down moves you forward and back you know you could run that kind of style for minecraft and it probably worked pretty well you just wouldn't be able to aim up and down you know no no there we go this is what i was looking for now we can go fight more of these metroids man Uh, man, I bought that, uh, I bought Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, and I made one video about it, never uploaded it. I don't think I'm ever going to do anything with that. I kind of wish I could just get a refund. Oh, here we go. Here's the Gamma. I think it's the Gamma. Or Zeta? Is it Zeta Metroid? Anyways... I don't think I'm ever going to get my money back for that because Epic's, Epic's refund policy is kind of bullshit. I'm not going to lie. It is not a very consumer-friendly refund policy. Oh, blew my load too soon there. Um, it's something like you, you, you can't have over like three hours and own it more than a week. Some bullshit. And I've definitely done the, the latter, which is own it more than a week. And I think I'm over three hours of gameplay with my friends, unfortunately. Well, the, I spent probably maybe two hours of it just trying to troubleshoot the damn game, which was a huge red flag because this moment I bought it, it just wouldn't work. We wouldn't able to play. Yeah, man. Shame about that game. And now the more I, the more I look at shit for the game, the more people are like disappointed by it. Like it's just a buggy mess. It's a, it's a real shame. That game was such a let letdown, man. I never was huge into the fantasy aspects of games to begin with, but I shouldn't. Al I I'm, ugh. I'm bad for letting my friends talk me into getting games that I would never get otherwise. Like they kept saying, this game is great. You should buy it. I buy the game. No one gets on it anymore. I like that, that's just how it goes. That's happened a couple times with a couple different games for me. I'm going to just buy whatever games I want anymore. I'm not even going to worry about what my friends are doing with them, you know. It don't matter if every single person on the planet is playing a game like Elden Ring. I'm not buying it. I'm not into those games, you know. Ugh. The more I see about Tiny Tina's, though, the more it pisses me off. Because, like, that's $60 I won't get back. And I'm kind of hurting for money right now. It's just... That, that game is just... Ugh, you know they released an update actually the reason i'm even talking about it is because they released an update the other day which of course it's a broken update because they rushed that game and it's just busted it busted on launch busted even today uh they released an update that has been wiping people's entire story progress isn't that cool so yeah i don't think i'm ever going to upload that Tales of the Borderlands, or no, not Tales of the Borderlands, uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands playthrough, and I don't think I'm ever going to restart a playthrough on it. Especially if it's going to take, like, another year for the game to actually release, you know? It's just, it's bullshit. I don't know. I think I'm done with Gearbox games anyway. They, they keep just shitting out these games to meet quotas, and they're, like, not even finished. Like, that's such a thing with AAA games anyways nowadays is all they do is rush out games regardless of if they're finished or not just to get the, the sales i don't know and they n notice how none of them have like betas or nothing too because they know their game's broken it's so sad man back in tw back in like 2012 something that shit would never pass you, you would have like whole class action lawsuits over that shit but nowadays, people are just so content with it. I don't know. It's sad. I'm done with Call of Duty. Well, I say I'm done with Call of Duty, but Modern Warfare 2 is around the corner, and I don't know. I'm probably done with that game series because Modern Warfare 1 was garbage. I, I don't care what anyone says. That game was... I hated it. The maps didn't make any sense. They were all, like, completely, like... AI generated map layouts. Uh, and then on top of that, the doors, dude. The doors. Oh my god. 
I can't say enough how much I hate the fucking doors in that game. Like, you're playing Search and Destroy, right? Like, a fan favorite game mode, and it's just slowed down to a crawl, you know? Like, we're talking, like, Tom Clancy Rainbow Six Siege type slow. I didn't, I didn't buy Call of Duty to play Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, you know? I played it to shoot a couple people, get my dopamine rush, and then boom, I'm done. But... You know, they turn, they decide, hey, you can do anything in that game, and you're just loud as a motherfucker, dude. And Dead Silence isn't even a perk. And even if you have Dead Silence active, doors are still loud as fuck. So you just have people, defense is just completely lopsided. It's just a mess. But luckily, the other two cards after that have been at least better. You know, Cold War was pretty a pretty huge miss but for me it was because it just kind of was very optimized it was optimized pretty poorly and zombies wasn't a great selling point for that game i'm a i'm a zombies guy personally but yeah Ooh, what's this whoops come on what ha no way there we go okay i see Hmm. I swear, if Modern Warfare 2, if they, I swear they would have had a good game if they just removed the launch maps, except for like maybe, uh, what was the one where it was like a shipping yard or whatever? That one was Hackney Yard. That one was good. Um, was it? It wasn't Firing Range. Shoe House. That one was good. They removed all those, just left in, you know, fan favorite maps, and took out the doors. I don't know why they added doors to those maps, but if they had just done that, would have had a great game. I would have been content, probably still would be playing that game, but I don't know, man. All right, let me let me not be so negative in this video. I just realized I've been talking about like negative shit the whole time, you know, fucking Tiny Teams Wonderlands, Call of Duty. I don't mean to sound negative. I just I, I'm just wanting to state my opinion on how I feel about the game series as a whole right now. I don't know. COD, COD still has a chance to redeem itself in MW2, though. That's all I will say on that. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, One Metroid left, huh? Okay, well, there's this down here. Can't get in there. Okay. I kind of want to see what this item is, but I feel like that's going to be a little bit harder than it looks. It might be on the left side of the room the, where we need to be checking. At least, you know, Spider-Ball is actually fairly fast in this game compared to the original. It might be like a scale thing because obviously you can see way more um, with... Oh, with the resolution of this this game compared to you know Game Boy screen, but yeah, dude, they did so good with this fucking remaster. It's crazy, dude. Oh, I I can't I can't get over this game, man. It's so good. Oh, I will scan you. Yep, that's a dead man. Ow. Alright, so there is another way to get in there from the other side. It had a similar looking crack, but we'll start on the right side. You know, right hand dominant, right side first. Okay. Hmm. Peculiar. Yep. Dark as a motherfucker in here, though, man. Yeah, get body. Ah. Dude, the Metroid spots are so much better in this game. The fucking... In the original game, it's literally just like... The same fight over and over, but... It's the same fight over and over, just the Metroid has more health. It does more damage. That's like the whole thing. But in this game, they actually have like... 
unique attacks. They do different things. They jump at you. They dodge your attack. They do all sorts of cool shit in this game. All right. Wait. I just remembered. Can we go? Is there a way into the roof here? Uh, I guess not. I did want to get that E-Tank that was up there, though. I guess we can't get it through here, though. Oh, you know what? That's probably what that, that uh, crack in the other side is. Yeah, that's that might be how we get that. Let's check it out. Okay, we can't do that. But anything with that. Okay, let's just cut through the bottom here. Yeah, all the lava's coming from down there now. What a weird mechanic. Did I've said this a lot, but games be having weird mechanics, dude. You kill Metroids, and then the lava lowers in this game. Very strange. But that also means that like, there's a shitload of stuff that on this planet that just live in that lava. You know? It's a little strange. Oh! Have peculiar. Hmm. Reckon we gotta restore power then to get to that. Uh. Ah, okay, good. Damn, this goes kind of deep. Was not ready. Huh. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Is this the power? Yeah, there we go. Even the music's kicked in. You'd love to see it. Okay. Well, we can go this way. I wonder why that door's blocked off. Kind of weird. Oh, Lord. They got fucking, like, turrets built onto them now. Whoa. I love that this game makes you actually utilize missiles. You know, compared to like, uh... Honestly, every other Metroid game, missiles are so underutilized, it's kind of insane. Like... Who the fuck goes through Super Metroid and uses, uses regular missiles? You know what I mean? Nobody does. Everyone spams the Super Missiles and Charge Beam. Because that's like the only two you ever need. You know? But this game actually, you I found myself using um, regular missiles more than my actual beam, you know, for the boss fights, which I think that's how it should be. Is you should be using the, oh shit. You should be using missiles for the boss fights more than a damn charge beam, you know. Use the charge beam as like a last resort. I don't know. Uh, I never was a fan of this boss fight, to be honest. It's just not for me. I mean, it's cool, but it just feels kind of... There isn't a focus to it or a point to it. it this feels like it should have been the um, space jump boss to me, rather than the uh, Chozo statue. This makes more sense, because you're using the upper parts of the room more than that Chozo boss fight. But that's I. Right. Ow. Still a good boss fight, though. Am I even doing damage? Do I have to be on screen? Or does it have to be on screen? Oh, Lord. I do like that this boss is only weak to beam attacks, though. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh, dude, this boss hurts. Oh, my God. All right, can I shoot it with missiles now? Now that it's like a little protective shield thing is gone. Sound that sounded like it. And I shot all the turrets and said <laughs> that would be my luck. Oh, dude. Shit. Damn, bro, this boss is fucking me up. 
I'm gonna die. Okay, shoo, good lord. Good lord, man, that boss is something else. This area is where the game actually starts to get pretty damn difficult, too. Okay, let's head up here. Wait. We can just enter through the right there, right? Okay, what's up with this room? So, obviously, we need to go up this way. I, I do believe. Oh. Nice. 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 Okay, there we go. Sheesh, man. We probably could have got that before that boss fight, too, actually. Because that door over there is unlocked. Cool how they uh, put those enemies there. You know, it's like a subliminal way of teaching you how to fight that boss. Because you have to shoot off the armor plating to get to its core. And you come across those, like, pretty early on. Okay, there's an item below us that we didn't get and i uh, don't remember if we needed power bombs was that the one that had the power bomb block it was okay ah dude this area hurts this might be the most challenging area of the entire game to be honest there's definitely a spike in difficulty which, I, I mean, that's probably the main criticism of this game anyway. It's just, it does have difficulty spikes. But, and I'm sure that's that's ruined the game for a lot of people. But I'm not, you know, completely against it. I don't know, I'm weird, I guess. But difficulty spikes don't really, yeah you know they're not that wild you know especially they don't really bother me especially if the game wasn't particularly challenging to begin with you know like this game so far i don't think we've even died have we no i don't think so oh you okay Woo. sheesh man about to say you bastard Okay, how do we get to this item up here? Does this take me up there? No, 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 this is back here. Ah, here we go. There we go. E tank god. I could have got that way forever ago. <laughs> My B. Alrighty. Figure our way back through this maze here. Can I just go this way? Oh, this is the way we go. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that is annoying. Okay, there we go. Sheesh. Um, hmm. Well, I guess now we go down. Shit. Let's see. I don't remember. Did we get Ice Beam? I think we have to, right? That's like how you beat the game, because Queen Metroid's only weak to the Ice Beam. I can't remember when we get that though. We might actually get that at the end of the game. Can't quite remember. I'm glad the Nintendo did away with the whole, um, like you can only hold one beam at a time thing they tried to do with Metro 2 originally. That shit was, was not a good direction for the game, I don't think. Super, Super Metro nailed it with the uh, beam stacking. I'm so glad that's the direction they went with it. Which, I mean, Metroid 1 had that too, I think, right? But. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna just kill you through the wall, bro. You gotta hold that. Mm, excuse me, I gotta take a sip of water. Ah, there we go. Hydrated. Yeah, what's coming up here? No, don't do that. I think, you know, since none of my friends are on, 
I'm actually going to get a head start on my content today, and I'm, I might just go ahead and re record uh, the Twilight Princess episode, like the next one, right after I do this. That's usually what I do when nobody's on, is I just get caught up on YouTube. Because the way I've been doing it so far is I'll record the video that needs to go out tomorrow, the day before. So, like, tomorrow, as of me recording this, it's the 21st. You guys will see this video on the 22nd, you know what I mean? But it doesn't hurt to be ahead. Actually, I think that is what I'll, I'll do. I've been enjoying that game quite a lot. We just did the uh, Temple of Time in the last episode. Great dungeon. Very good dungeon. The boss fight was kind of whatever, but it was funny as fuck. I, I'm a fan of that boss fight. No, no lie. I still need to make a short out of that. I almost forgot. There's a moment in that video that's just like super funny. <sighs> yeah. I, th I thought it was funny anyway. I I'm going to upload it as a short. Dude, shorts have done wonder f wonders for the channel's like uh, algorithm though. It, it is insane. Like, I have seven, seven subs on the channel now. And I'd say a lot of those have begin been because the shorts have increased my watch time to the point where... Oh, uh, right, this room doesn't have anything yet. Um, it's increased my watch time, which is recommending my content more to other people. So short shorts are definitely the way. If you're like a new YouTuber thinking about... Or you're just starting... Thinking about starting a YouTube channel definitely you should try to make as many shorts as you can <laughs> i wouldn't be a zelda game without an escape sequence or zelda game metro game without an escape sequence this one's really cool too i, I like how instead of, instead of a timer you have a uh fucking temperature gauge oh god do i need to okay this works You have like a, a lo looming doom fucking temperature gauge and it's like scripted. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I can just use plasma. This boss is kind of cool. I'm a fan of uh, Prime 2 did this too where like there's a boss during an escape sequence. I'm a huge fan of that. Damn, this motherfucker's got plasma beam too. Ugh. Wait a minute, I'm getting washed. Let me destroy your will so you can't move, Chief. Yeah, there we go. Huh? Okay, I guess I can't destroy that with uh, super missiles. Yeah, give me them drops. It makes these escape sequences so much more stressful when you have to uh, deal with these... Uh... Oh, shit, what? When you have to deal with these escape sequences and a boss at the same time. There we go. That's what this room's for. Oh, power... <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Oh, well. Oh! I love that you can do that and like keep your shine spark in these 2D games. That shit's cool. I wonder if Prime 4 is going to have an actual like shine spark in it, you know, like a speed booster mechanic. Other M tried it. It was like the first 3D game to have a shine spark. I think it would work well. Dude, I'm just now realizing they made this like path so like long on purpose bro <laughs> these motherfuckers holy shit making you do all these small meaningless tasks just to increase the amount of time you spend here oh no my only weakness tight corridors oh there we go 
Uh, out of my way. This is like the only escape sequence that I actually... Th this stressed me out. The first time I played this game, this actually stressed me the fuck out. Playing this, because I was like, damn, am I really just this slow, or what's happening? But no, it's actually just scripted to, uh... The further you go... Can you leave me be, please? The further you... You can lose to this, but it's scripted to, like, the further progress you go. Uh, or make it along the faster the temperature rides. Like right there, you see how just fucking spiked. Bruh. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking microwaved my ass. Uh, now this part's really scary because we need to make it to a save on five health and this area isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world so i'm going to play this like a little bitch i'm not going to lie okay i i can't i've died a few times in a few playthroughs just trying to make it back here all right i think we can go back down there right and there's like new stuff we can get Let's see. Yeah, we can go down here now. Nice little shortcuts to get down to the bottom of this. Oh, this is new. Yeah. Oh, Lord. That, that's not cool. That's kind of like, that could, looks like it could cause a seizure. Hmm. Well, there was this here, so that's cool. Ah. Wait. How the fuck am I supposed to get a super missile there? Ah. It is a little bit hard to shine spark on uh on stick or like stop your momentum. There we go. Ah. Oh, here we go. I think there's like two more e tanks, right? Might be wrong. This game has a lot of a lot of e tanks, but I'm a fan, especially since the difficulty spikes right here lets you know shit gets real. Okay, let's go ahead and save once more. I guess we should go to the right now that's a little suspicious oh wait no, no, no i know why that's like that actually never mind uh you can actually pass through there and that's just an overlapping tile in the map okay i guess there's nothing else there i think we're done here i guess so love the, the theme for that area though the whole techno vibe that this game's OST gives off is just so good. Oh, of course. Oh. I wish there was an option to turn off that flashing, though. But, unfortunately, there isn't. And there's not much I can do about that. Oh. Oh. Huh. Wonder what that was about. Oh, God. Huh. Okay, well. I guess let's continue on.
another amazing water track from a Metroid game. Something about like the tracks to water areas. I guess, I guess this is more specific to Metro games in general because their soundtracks usually have um, more of like a techno kind of feel to it anyway. But I, I love the kind of atmosphere it sets up. Okay, we need ice beam for that, but I think we can just cut through here, right? Oh, no spider ball? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess that makes sense. Okay, I guess we can't do that then. Could have swore there was a way to, like, go through the ceiling there and go around that. No, actually, I'm fairly confident there is. Hold up. Let me check one more time. Never mind. I'm crazy. That might be a different game I'm thinking of. That has, that has like, a... Uh, there's another metro game that has a similar enemy that like you could just pass through the roof it might be fusion okay what was to the right here oh you're right it was those speed boost blocks but we can't do anything over there yet hmm Ow. Fucking red fish. Were these enemies in fusion? Like a form of them? I don't think they were, were they? These are like totally original enemies for the for the game. Well, they might have been the original Metro too, but it's been years since I played that, so. I wonder if there's someone out there that's that ended up playing through this whole game the first time and didn't find like any of the beams, you know? Alright, these guys implode. Fucking Tohu style explosions. Jesus. Oh god. Get me out of here. <laughs> I forgot this game has that. Okay. We'll actually use this to our advantage here. I think this destroys... Nope. I thought it destroyed uh, the other enemies in the room too, but guess not. My lord. Oh, okay, I got him. What's this way? I like how the doors even have a custom graphic here. Oh, bro. Oh. Oh, God, they have chain reactions. No, dude. <laughs> I was not aware. That wall looks very sus, but I guess it isn't hiding anything. Ooh. Cool. I'm suspicious of this top left, top left map tile. Okay. Oh. Oh shit. Ow, ow. Oh god, you don't have eye frames whenever you get hit by this shit. Oh, my lord. Well, yeah, that makes that a whole lot more scary. Okay, we need spear attack for that. Ooh, you know, at first I wasn't a fan of the remix, but... That part right there has convinced me otherwise. That shit's cool. This mechanic's cool. I love any time the game... A game, any game, forces you to like use your surroundings to complete puzzles. I love that shit. 
Oh, well, they like it. Oh, they EMP the enemies. Wow. Okay. Did not know that. Well, I don't remember it, rather. No, dude, please. There we go. Okay. Bruh. I don't think this will... Yeah, I don't think that would have bothered those enemies even if it hit them. I think it's only if I hit them. I see that motherfucker. Look at him over there. He sees me too. Little bastard. He's going to have to wait for me to save, though. Uh, I, re I reckon I might as well get over it. I was going to wait until I got like another beam upgrade or something to maybe deal with him, but eh, let's just get it over with. Yeah, charge beam doesn't even do anything to these guys. Oh, wow. Turn around, brother. Can we just leave? Wow, we can. I'm not going to do that. But I guess we could. Oh, fucking EMP'd my arm cannon. Ow, ow. Fucking hell. Damn. There we go, shit. Okay. Oh, this one would get access to the warps and shit, huh? Yeah, this game has a fast travel system at this point. Towards, like, the end of the game where it lets you, like, just quickly revisit areas that you might have had. There might have been stuff you didn't get. I'm gonna just tank all this shit, bro, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, screw attack for that. Okay. Oh, Lord. Yeah, fuck you. Motherfuckers. Alright, what's back here? Safe. And a weird one, too. If I was a guessing or a betting man, I'd say that leads to like a speed boost puzzle of some sort based on the ramp. Okay, what is this? This is also Metroids. Oh, God. A lot, a lot of them. Oh. Oh, shit. These were the guys that dodged, too, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! They're swarming me. There we go. One down, four to go. Two down, three to go. Crazy how you get to a point in the game where, like, taking on five of these guys just isn't an issue. Come on. This one to the left of me just does not want to get shot. <laughs> Smart move, but damn. Ah, this guy's like one shot. Nope. Damn, did I do like no damage to this one? Guess not. All right. Two Metroids left already. Um... I guess we should explore the rat first before we take that little warp. All right. Ooh, this room is interesting.
Oh, shit. No thanks. I don't want to get hit by that bullshit. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Alright, let's be careful not to blow this damn thing up. Cool. Now, where does this door lead? Another Metroid, maybe? Oh, shit. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no thanks. I would rather not be a part of that. Okay. Alright, man. Shit. Did you guys see that, um... Ooh, not screw attack. Did you guys see the portal, like, in 64? So there was, a, there was a few things. There was the uh, portal. So I talked about the Unreal Engine 5 portal remake, right? Well, someone has gone even further and made a portal N64 D-make. I mean, it's still, like, very early work in progress. Um, you could check it out on... Let me, let me pull up his channel. James Lambert on YouTube. Uh, he's the developer. You can actually download the game from his GitHub. It's free to download and play. It's a, it's still a very early work in progress. Like, the portal gun doesn't have any animations. And the portals, like he said, they just appear instantaneously. There's, like, no... Hmm. It doesn't shoot like a little ball that hits the wall and then turns into a portal, you know what I mean? It just kind of happens. But it's still really cool and worth checking out, I would say. Kind of weird though, that I see that thing about the uh, portal remake in Unreal Engine 5 and then not even long after, there's a portal demake. The fuck is this one? Suspicious. Yeah, that that was the warp, warp room, though. Just in case he's wondering, that that's how we go from like place to place in the world. If we ever, if we want to go back and 100% the game, which I might, I don't know yet, though. Come on. There we go. This part's annoying. I, w I won't lie. It gets stuck there a lot. Just very annoying to deal with. There we go. Oh, is this just... Okay. I do want to go back. Uh, let's check out some of these warps, I guess. Let's check out the yellow one first. Ah, I had to take a drink of water. So this obviously is not what I was thinking it was. Okay, so yellow's Chozo Ruins. This is busted, wherever that used to go. This one's purple. And it leads to here. Yeah. Hmm. One of these takes us to an item. Ah, it was this one. Yep. Hmm, peculiar. Little EMP fields. Alright. Wonder what's up with the, the little parts of it that don't work. Hmm. Interesting. 
Oh, okay. Got that splash damage. Bombs, huh? Well, I guess we gotta power bomb that then. Well, I, there was also that in the ceiling, but I didn't see that. <laughs> I, I love the way you get gravity suit in this game, bro. This shit looks so cool. It even has that fusion style, um, fusion style like item acquisition process. That shit's lit. All right, time to head back up here. Let's see what this was about. Okay. I want to get this item down here that we missed. Maybe it's an E-Tank? Nah, it's probably just a missile, actually. Eh, we'll just use a power bomb. I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yeah, just a mistake. About what I expected. Damn, we are loaded up on the missiles, though. Look at that. 185? Jeez, man. That Portal D make is cool, though. If that game ever gets finished, I might try that out. Hmm. So now we're in a lower part of this area. Heal here. Oh, we just don't like the bottom of this. I think we are. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Um. Well, I know we're not done with this area yet. Okay. I think there's still, like, one more thing we get from here, if I'm not mistaken. Huh. I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's just explore a little bit and see. Uh... I mean, there's that little bit to the left, but I think that just wraps around to the right side here. Okay, tell you what, this uh, this portal room up here, notice how that little warp there doesn't have, like, an ending on the map or whatever, like an, a border to it. I think that might be something. Yeah, yeah, yeah it goes up. Yeah. Ooh, what is this one? Oh, it's just over here. I mean, there is that. Eh. I'm not that worried about it. I might do an extra episode where I 100% it. Hmm. Lord, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I got plenty of sleep. Uh, maybe it's just where it's early in the morning. My body's not really used to being up this early. I think that's all it is. I'm such a damn night owl type of person, but I have to, I have to keep my sleep schedule pretty hot right now. Uh oh, uh oh. So like right here on the tip of this this ledge is where I need to do this on. Oh lord. I think this is right let's see nope it's right there at the top of that slope i love how screw attack blows them up in like an x formation i guess I, that makes sense because the tile does look slightly different than the rest of the surrounding area i like how uh this game too you can like do this just kind of stall your momentum in the air Weird little quirk of the 2D Zelda games. 
Okay. We couldn't do either of these areas, but I can't mirror. Oh, that, that one we needed an ice beam. Okay. And then this one over here, we needed gravity. Whoops. Okay. I kind of want to go back and get that missile pack. No lie. Right. Me and my friends download this uh, game called Prominence Poker. It's free to play on Steam. It's actually a pretty damn cool little game to be like a free to play poker game. It lets you completely customize your character. Um, it's actually got a fairly active player base for a game released in like 2016 or something. Um, and it's just a pretty cool little game. I mean... It, it teaches you even how to play poker if you never even played it before. Oh, man. The people on there, there though, are just what you would expect from people to play online no-stakes poker, though. Like, there's so many people that will just join in and go all in every single hand, no matter what, and just steal the blinds. And, and then as soon as you get a hand that's worth a damn, they just fold. Like, they don't fold, but, like, they just, they're done, you know? Absolutely. Oh, my apologies. One second. I got a phone call. Okay, sorry about that. This was the area I was thinking about, actually, where we had to go over top of the ice or the, the little dude. Yeah, here we go. Nice. Now we can destroy this bastard. Yeah, get fucked. Okay. I like how it's the uh, Metroid Fusion style ice beam too. I hate that about the uh, Metroid Fusion game where like you don't get the ice beam until the very end of the game and it's like the coolest looking ice beam in the series. Guess I have to shoot the frozen parts with missiles. Oh, let me freeze, like, all of it first. Oh, I don't even need to use supers. Okay, I just wasted those missiles, then. That's awesome. Oh, shit. Cool how they brought back Saris, though, for for this game. I think Saris is its name. Damn. Motherfucker speed boost extra long in this version, though. Oh, I don't even need to use missiles. Cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wonder, uh... God, that was my inner Seth Rogen laugh. Lord. <laughs> I wonder if this damage it does actually, like, consider missile damage. Because it's shine sparking, but these are missile platforms and you can't shine spark through a missile platform you know in normal gameplay so i wonder if that really is doing what the game considers as missile damage ow ow damn it's shooting like air bubbles at me the fuck is that ow Damn, this face be lasting a bit, huh? Okay, I think it's is almost dead. Going fast as fuck. Alright. There we go. Cool. Cool little optional boss there. You don't even have to... You know, honestly, you don't have to get gravity suit or none of this shit to beat the, this game. That's how open-ended it is. There's even a mode in the settings that, like, turns off the lava so you can explore and do shit out of order. Pretty neat. Okay. Really? Really? 
really bro these things got some funky hitboxes I wish Metroid games would go back to like the evolved Metroid idea I really like that I mean sure the the regular Metroid is like iconic but these Metroids are super cool maybe don't do them in bulk maybe have them as like boss fights around the world but like each stage has a boss fight but i would love to see more of these evolved metroids than in metroid 2 and metroid fusion you know they could have explored that a little bit more with like the prime games you know well i guess metroid prime is an evolved metroid but i would well my other m kind of did it too huh with the queen metroid I wish they would dive into that more though we'll flag you know prime could have dabbled in it for sure had like uh at least alpha metroids in the, in the series especially you know they're like mutating and evolving with phase on energy i don't know i think it'd be cool oh where is this okay I mean, there's something to the left here. Yeah. We know, we know. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, wasn't we here already? But I guess not. Um. We still need to go down there to the bottom. There's still that little bit with the uh, little ice enemy that we couldn't do until now. I like how you just fall through this whole area. That's cool. Oh, okay. I forgot what that was. Okie dokie. Oh, Rob, right, we're not even affected by that shit anymore. I kind of wish that this still affected you. Because, I mean, it wasn't that annoying to begin with. It would have just been another thing to play around. Even with the gravity suit, but I guess. Kind of like that mechanic of just something you had to play around in the environment that completely stops you from shooting, laying bombs, doing any of that stuff. Dude, I love how uh, Ice Beam 2 in this game doesn't just completely freeze them in their tracks. It will... It actually, like, applies Ice Physics to them. If they're already in motion, they stay in motion and then, like, shatter when they hit a wall or something. That shit is so cool. I love it. Whoops. Okay. Oh, What? Oh, never mind, never mind. Oh, okay. That needs speed boost. Oh, this is going to be a little tight. Maybe not. Huh. <laughs> Oh, what is this room? Interesting looking room for sure. Okay, this looks suspicious down here. Yeah. I could tell by like the color difference in the floor. All right, well, that's cool. I, I guess there's one more E-Tank. Maybe three. I don't think it ends on an odd number. Cool. Whoops. I guess we're done here. Yeah, guess so. Up there was something, but eh. Eh. We're already, it's already two out of the way. Probably just another missile tank anyway. 
Ow. I tell you what I will do though, before I leave this area, I will search the rest of the unmapped tiles here and see if maybe there's a secret I miss. That I will do. Uh, there might be something to the right, but I can't be bothered. Alrighty. There's still that little bit to the left I haven't explored either. But we couldn't even get back up after I fell through all this shit. Well, maybe it's just a one-way thing anyway. Yeah, it was. So the way I went on exit actually was the intended path to go. Cool. Wait, so ice beam, was ice beam required? I don't think it is. It might be, actually. Never mind, because at the end of the game, you need it to kill the Metroids. So that might be one of the few required things. Whoa. This one's pink. wonder if it's just because of the lighting of the area that they changed the palette. All right. This game's a little bit longer than I thought it would be, actually. I figured we would have been done this episode, but there's still a decent bit of the game left to do. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here, guys. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and in turn brings new people to the channel. And if you really like the video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. I try my best to upload every day at 9 a.m. EDT, and occasionally you can expect a double upload at 9 p.m. EDT. Currently, I've been uploading No Man's Sky Permadeath in the 9 p.m. time slot, but, you know, those videos aren't an everyday thing like these ones are. But anyways, guys, that's all for me. I'll see you guys in the next episode, and peace.